How to Write a Good Quality Chapter 4, Data Analysis and Findings, Quantitative Study. Provide descriptive statistics for the variables of interest, such as means, standard deviations, and frequencies. In Chapter 4 of a quantitative research study, it is important to provide descriptive statistics for the variables of interest in order to provide a clear understanding of the data collected. This should include measures such as means, standard deviations, and frequencies. Means provide a measure of central tendency, while standard deviations provide information about the variability of the data. Frequencies can be used to describe categorical variables, such as gender or race. It is important to present these statistics in a clear and organized manner, using appropriate tables and graphs to aid in interpretation. Additionally, any outliers or unusual observations should be identified and explained. The presentation of descriptive statistics should also be linked to the research questions and hypotheses, highlighting any significant findings or trends in the data. Providing descriptive statistics is an essential part of Chapter 4 in a quantitative study. Descriptive statistics summarize the main characteristics of the data, including central tendency, variability, and frequency. It is important to present these statistics in a clear and organized manner to facilitate understanding and interpretation of the findings. Common descriptive statistics include means, standard deviations, and frequencies. Means provide information about the average value of a variable, while standard deviations indicate how spread out the data are. Frequencies show the number of participants who fall into each category of a variable, which is particularly important for categorical variables. It is recommended to present these statistics using tables and graphs to enhance their visual appeal and facilitate comparisons between variables. Present the results of the statistical analyses in an organized and logical manner, using tables and graphs where appropriate. When presenting the results of the statistical analyses in Chapter 4 of a quantitative study, it is important to be organized and logical in your presentation. Here are some tips. Start with a summary of the main findings. Before diving into the details, provide a brief overview of the key results that you found. Use tables and graphs. Tables and graphs are an effective way to present your results in a clear and concise manner. Be sure to label your tables and graphs clearly and provide a brief explanation of what they show. Present the results in a logical order. Organize the results in a way that makes sense, such as presenting the findings for each research question separately. Use appropriate statistics. Make sure you are using the appropriate statistical methods for the type of data you collected and the research questions you are addressing. Be concise. Only present the results that are relevant to your research questions and hypotheses. Avoid presenting unnecessary information or statistical tests that do not contribute to your research. Provide interpretations. After presenting the results, provide interpretations of what they mean in relation to your research questions and hypotheses. Be clear and concise in your interpretations and avoid making any conclusions that are not supported by the data. By following these tips, you can present the results of your statistical analyses in a clear and organized manner that effectively answers your research questions. Discuss the significance of the findings in relation to the research questions and hypotheses, and cite relevant literature to support your interpretations. When discussing the significance of the findings in Chapter 4 of a quantitative study, it is important to relate the results back to the research questions and hypotheses that were developed earlier in the study. Begin by summarizing the main findings of the statistical analyses and explaining how they answer the research questions and support or refute the hypotheses. Next, provide a discussion of the implications of the findings for the field of study and how they contribute to the existing body of knowledge. Cite relevant literature to support your interpretations and draw connections between your results and previous research. Additionally, discuss any unexpected or surprising findings and offer possible explanations or directions for future research. Be sure to acknowledge any limitations or weaknesses of the study, such as sample size or measurement limitations, and how they may have impacted the results. Overall, the discussion of the significance of the findings should be a thoughtful and thorough analysis that ties together the research questions, hypotheses, and results in a meaningful way. Address any unexpected or negative findings, and explain how they may impact the overall conclusions of the study. In a quantitative study, unexpected or negative findings are not uncommon. These may be results that do not align with the initial hypotheses or findings that indicate an unanticipated pattern in the data. When such findings arise, it is important to address them in the data analysis and findings chapter of the dissertation. 
The researcher should describe the unexpected or negative findings in detail and provide a possible explanation for why they occurred. Additionally, the researcher should explain how these findings may impact the overall conclusions of the study and suggest possible avenues for further research to explore these unexpected results in more depth. By addressing unexpected or negative findings in a thoughtful and honest manner, the researcher demonstrates an objective approach to the study and enhances the credibility of the research. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel if this is helpful.